Hello and welcome to Gen Drago Gaming's YouTube. Today we are joined again by Dewey Unchained, Clowns OG, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> original Clowns member, awesome streamer, and almost getting close to that 200,000 cards one mark. Now today we are talking about the different kind of chess deals and offers they've been having in the shop lately. The boosts, the one-time deals, what do we think is good, what do we think is not good, and we're going to get to it. Now, I guess we'll, let's start from the, let's start from the, the, the top here. Um, one-time arena deals. All right, so this is taking it back a bit. This was introduced several months ago. I think the, the arena offers were a, a huge addition to the game. These actually came out the same time um, challenges did, didn't they? It was, a, it was a while ago. I know when they but, came um, out that I was already whatever max level was and they were slowly retroactively I, I getting still, it. That was back in the day when I was still like playing level one accounts for fun because I remember buying the arena offers <laughs> on my level one accounts. But yeah, you can, you uh, can mix so, it in with that around the same time. Yeah. So yeah, it was. I think it was. It was a one of the best additions to the game for sure because it allows. It's almost like you were saying. It's almost like a catch-up mechanic where it allows people to get something, you know, really valuable. It allows them to kind of get a boost over that over that grind without dumping a lot more money than they have to into the game. So and it brings you up to tournament that, standard uh, at a pace that's uh, coming from somebody who yes. who you know started from day one it didn't make me up like upset so it didn't like negate all the money and time that i spent but like it, it, they found a good balance with you know helping get the tournament standard within a reasonable time but not making it a joke like just yeah yeah the low the lower read yeah they definitely some sometimes when i see some offers you know in the stores and stuff like that and just in general from supercell sometimes you think like oh man like this this is you know it's this isn't really worth it. It's only like times two value. <coughs> all they're trying, all they're trying to do is like, you know, people who are on the fence about spending money. They're just trying to like, you know, pull them over and just make them spend some money. But I think with the arena special offer rewards, they definitely as value, baby. We're, we're, th we're thinking about making it really valuable and really helping the player because a lot of these are, you know, times four, times five, six value and have some really good. You know chests and gold i think the what was it i think arena four arena five i think it starts at times four value ends at times seven for the last one there's some really really juicy ones and yeah like you were saying it helps you get up to tournament standards so if you're playing for a couple months and you spend a little bit of money you can easily get up to tournament standards um, i think on my level one account um, i had an account where i went up through the arenas as I was going through the arenas, I bought the special offers, and I hit level 8, and I was doing grand challenges, and then I hit level 9 in less than two weeks. It was very, very quick. And, and if you guys don't know here, I'm showing everybody, every time you get to a new arena, all, you know, and it, it's a great, um, I feel like, not only you get to a new arena, you get to unlock new cards, but it's like a... This is like a pres, like a giant prize. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like a giant present that you can get for yourself when you get to a new arena. It's like, and, okay, I've I've been in this arena for you know a week, two weeks. Boom! I, I get to the next arena. You know, it's been a, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm, you know, now I can go and spend ten bucks and I can get all this gold to and get these new cards. I can use the gold, upgrade the cards. I have tons of different decks I can use now. Because one of the problems... And, and real is, quick, because I, I, I just... Uh, before I get to the next replay here, Gen Drago 2 just hit Hog Mountain. And at all the one-time arena deals um, essentially go like this. Whatever you would pay for that gem cost in the shop, you... is what you're paying. So I got 1,200 gems for $10, just like you see in the shop here. But I also got a legendary chest and 100,000 gold. Um fairly certain the uh the following deal is something along the lines of twenty dollars you get to twenty five hundred gems just like you would in the shop but you also get a super magical one hundred thousand gold so it like it just throws value at you 100 percent. yep yep exactly yep so you're each each one of these you know you, you may be paying you know 10 15 20 25 bucks but the stuff you're getting is you know 50 75 100 dollars worth of stuff it's just like you're so buying the gems except you get a lot more and i think with so all the new yeah, modes yeah. 
like you know, like the the twenty challenge CCGS one or the times two, any of the modes you might want to play in the future. I think it's a, a great opportunity just to buy those gems. You know. Yep. Yeah. So when when it says you know, times five, times six, times seven value, it definitely means it and should be something that if you're a, a Clash Royale fan and you love playing Clash Royale and you want to get you know up to tournament standards so you can do these awesome tournaments and challenges that are coming out and you want to you know level up more in the future i would definitely look in towards you know saving up some allowance or you know birthday money or christmas money or you know or getting one of my ten dollar tournaments or giveaways but all right so in the comment section below guys if you disagree with the statement i'm about to make let me know but i feel like uh we are both same page here yeah. one-time deals the way, the way green, light. Is, green light if you were to if you were to play a computer game or if you were to play a console game and you got to pay 60 bucks for that game uh, 60 bucks on a console game could get you like eight hours of gameplay or or maybe you pl it's multiplayer and you play it a lot and it gets you like a couple hundred hours of gameplay but clash royale is free and if you love playing it and it you know you're playing it every day and it's your it's your go-to game uh you know I, I don't mind spending some money on it it's a great way to look especially at it when it's when it's that good of value you know what i mean you can't expect to have everything for free like some people do that's a good way to look at it now let's move over the way, that I, the way that i look at it is you're not a true you don't really 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 like the game and you're not a true <coughs> fan if you can't if you can't save up and spend a little bit of money i mean is it too much to ask to save up 20 bucks and or or spend a five dollar one and you know for everybody who says you know oh pay to winners pay to winner you know if, if nobody paid anything into the game you wouldn't have a game but still, so if, you, if you're respect. a new player, if you're a new player or you're still in a low arena, if you're not in like Hog Mountain or Legendary Arena yet, definitely make sure to, if you're thinking about, you know, upping your, your game and buying some gems or buying some gold, do not buy it from the store. Uh, wait until you get all the arena offers. So make sure to try, you know, just try your best to get to the next arena. And a side note, if you don't buy arena that offer. arena offer that day, um, it will come back like around a week later or so. Yes. But yep. it is yep. only the one arena, time. The arena offers will cycle back around and they'll keep on cycling around until you buy them. So don't worry. But, they won't but let's go to the years. dark side of some of the, some of not the one time offers, but some of the offers. Now, going back to last Christmas or even like the touchdown mode offers, um, they had like the, the, <coughs> excuse me, New Year's festival deals. They had some awesome offers last Christmas. Um, and even, uh, like a, a month ago when the touchdown modes yeah, came so out they, they, it, it, they had some really good offers kind of like the one-time arena deals um you know times three to five this uh, value around there and those yeah, are great some of, some of these offers I but mean, I've seen... hold, on, hold on one second but and and it, i'm sure we agree that those are both great but there has been uh, over the last couple months some some offers put in by supercell and when i see special offer i get excited and i was like uh where you would either buy a super magical chest or a giant chest straight up shop price like not like same price but you would have times two or three or four uh, more chance to get the card and I feel like the mega knight had the the super magical one in the shop like 4900 at max level times two or three chance to get m uh, more than one mega knight or whatever the value really isn't there, and I felt like, and I love you, Super Sub, but I felt like that was more of a money grab, and that was a that was a letdown. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Some of these are more of a let's poke at the people who, um, you know, are higher on ladder or they're they're a higher level, like twelve or thirteen, and we get them to spend some more money. Um, I myself don't buy the the special offers that are like times two times three times four where it's like you get a magical and you get some golden gems or well, you know, I, I, I buy them but this wasn't even times two or three four this is just you have an extra chance to get yeah. more of the same card but didn't say you got more cards up in general yeah 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 see i'm, I'm, I'm i myself since i'm already above tournament standards and i i love to play grand challenges and stuff I'm, I don't buy any special offers usually. I just use my gold from Grand Challenges to buy cards from the store. But if you are, let's say you are <coughs> under tournament standards, or let's say you are tournament standards, and you don't have the time, or maybe you're just not, not everybody, you know, loves grinding out challenges. Maybe that's not your thing to do, you know, grind out Grand Challenges. Maybe you don't like, you know, the meta and the decks that people use in those. Uh, I would definitely say, you know, hit up those good offers in the store. If you're not going to spend gems on, if you're not going to spend money on gems to do grand challenges, 
then you might as well hit up those those good special offers that they have and then you can use the gems or you can save those gems for when they have the but don't get fooled challenges. don't get fooled by the non-special offers that are there yeah be careful and some of the some of the special offers are definitely not as valuable but then you can save your gems you get from those special offers and you can do the 20 win challenges or... now, let, now because i got this on the screen let, let, let's let, let's move over to this brand new this is <coughs> excuse me again this is the second time they're doing this i personally really love it um guys mathematicians you know guys crunching the numbers please in the comment section below let me know your your thoughts but pretty much for 300 gems uh per each so 900 gems total uh so if you don't buy gems in bulk 900 gems is um you know say depending on how you buy your gems in bulk or not between you know seven and eight dollars in gems you'll have for seven days 300 uh, victory gold boost per every time you would get a victory gold and it's 20 times you can get that so 300 gold 20 times a day seven days a week if you do that and you're gonna play more if you had the faster unlock time all of your chests unlock twice as fast so that would help with the victory gold as well and the crown chest boost to get twice the amount of gold, uh, golden cards in the crown chest um obviously i personally like all these i got them all it could you know so, for seven days you know it could be you know but if you don't play you're not getting any value doing some math real quick uh this would be nine basically uh three let's say 900 gems let's just say nine dollars a week so that'd be 36 dollars a month comes out to a little over a dollar a day and that would give you forty-two thousand gold a week wait, wait, wait so, i'm sorry you said about a month though they don't do these all the, the time it's just seven days Did I, can you run that by me one more time this is only the second time they've done this well yeah i'm saying i'm saying if it comes up each week and you were to do it like back to back so like okay so we'll not, okay scratch that we'll just it doesn't matter about the if it's not out for like a straight month just look at it at a weekly basis so if you look at it at a weekly basis you'll get forty two thousand gold you'll spend nine bucks if you uh forty two thousand gold is actually around fifteen dollars worth of gold if you were to buy it from the store and just so you know he got forty two thousand so, gold from taking 300 victory so, yeah, gold so, so times just, 20 just a, a day times seven days just alone just alone the gold so, okay so if you buy all three of these you're already gonna make back your value okay so yeah forty two thousand gold. gold is uh two thousand over you know two thousand gems on the shop i see what you're saying yes and yeah so exactly so y if you bought all three of these it's 900 gems which is less than half of the 2,000 gems it would cost you to get the gold. So the gold would, you know, you'd be already broke even or a little positive. Then you got the crown chests, which double gold and cards. You get two or you get one crown chest a day, right? Now, yeah. Or two if you don't log, you know. Or two yeah. if you don't get your one. If you skip a day, then you can get two the next day. So seven, seven uh, crown chests. I haven't opened up a crown chest, but next time I open one, I'll look at how many cards and gold come out of that. But that's gotta be that's gonna be a lot as well, and like like you said, when you're doing all this victory gold every day because you gotta get 20 wins, is it? Yes. To uh, get your victory gold. Well, you get you can do it up wins. to 20 times, and you're more likely, like you know, say if you don't have money to spend on grand challenges or you're not a big fan, if your chests are opening up twice as fast, you're gonna get more victory gold just by. Yeah, yeah. So your chests will be opening faster, which will allow you to cycle faster. You know, tw you'll be able to cycle twice as fast to your giant chest magical chests <coughs> um, all those so i would say these are awesome all three of them are great and i would if if it was like back in the day and there weren't challenges and it was just ladder i would buy all three of these every single week possible why would uh, you buy no it now problem. though because you still get the victory gold from winning in challenges I and that would, alone is so, value as your math pointed out which good good call on that by the way yeah, the, I think the only one I wouldn't get right now is the chest boost one. I think I would definitely get the crown chest one. Crown chest one is awesome. Getting twice as many. That's basically like saying you're getting 14 crown chests a week. Um, and then the victory gold. Yes, if you're going to play, if you think you're going to play close to 20 uh, wins or more, you know, close to 20 a day, 
I would get it. But if you're the type of person who's just gonna pick it up, fill your chest slots, get the crown chest, you know, you play like four or five matches to get your crown, you get your crown. Well, hold, hold up now though. Slots. It's 500 gems for a 10,000 gold, right? So even if you don't max it out anywhere close every day you can still break even very easily right Forty-two thousand gold max say you only do five let's say five, you play five let's say you play five games that's gonna give you an extra 1500 gold so that's about that's about well, th three, uh, 90 gems worth three times five and then times seven days a week so if you play five five wait a second if you 300 times 5 times 7. If you just play three five games a week, you'll get 10,500 gold. So you'll get a little bit more than your value if you at least do five games a week, a day. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah, so technically all, all three of these could work together uh, really well. Uh, it's just a question of how much are you, you going to play to do you, do you think that you can keep up with the chests unlocking faster? So if you're going to play four games... Get the chest speed up boost are you going to be around in an hour and a half when the silver chest opens to play another game and fill it up with another silver basically to maximize on this uh you're gonna have to have um you're gonna have to go back to your game multiple times a day every hour and a half to get through the silver you can tell dewey plays yeah. on blue stacks now or, or or his computer i should say because us mobile phone guys we got a restroom ett effective toilet time Restroom, open up a chest, done. Yeah, and if, if you think you're not going to be able to get to the game for a while, you could just sync that up with, okay, I'm going to open up a gold chest or something. But then again, you got to think of it like this. Because it used to work perfectly. It used to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll open a gold chest, takes eight hours. The problem is now is if you got the boost going and it's four hours, you open up the gold, go to sleep, and then you <coughs> wake up, and you missed out on four hours of chest opening. So I think it'd be really, really, really good for if you had like um, times three speed. Like let, let let's no, let's say you're one of those people who have super magicals, and magicals, and giants, and all those like stacking up. Uh, buy this boost and just get all those open. I would buy it anyway, but any anybody who's uh, interested in mathing out the value you'd get from the boost. Let me know uh, as far as the boost of the uh, the chest time. But here's just uh, food yeah. for thought. Um, oh, and you know what I didn't? You know how I gem chest that I win, like personally. Um, you know, the, normally a silver chest is 18 gems to open up cold. It's only nine gems now. So I didn't even realize with me buying the boost that I didn't think about my chest being in half price, but. As far as the, the chest value, if you take a silver chest, um, which is, uh, actually, you know what, let's take, a, let's take a gold chest, right? So you've got eight hours on a gold chest, generally speaking. And if the chests are half as many gems to open, then I would four, say, yeah, it's definitely worth it for your hardcore uh, uh, chest cyclers. For if you're playing a lot of ladder, and you want to cycle through those silvers. And then when you get to a giant or a magical or super magical, let that open up throughout the day or overnight using the chest speed up boost because that's well, what hold on. So, so it's is... 24 gems uh, for the eight hour chest now with the boost right half off and you take that divided by um uh the eight hours and it just comes out to, to three uh how do i math this so if i have three how many how many chest openings would i need to get 300 gems worth um so 24 oh you'd only times, need to open up like 10 or 20 chests let's take 300 for the cost you'd be able to easily get the value out of it in like a couple days for sure oh, 300 divided by 24 um, one second one second <coughs> 300 divided by 24 is 12.5 so in 12 and a half chests that you got which is which is less than the gold uh, uh minimum requirement 12 and a half chest over seven days. If you get that, you got your money's worth. Simple. So, I'm sorry, I, 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 this brain takes a lot to think. But, uh. Yeah, all of these are really good value. They just, of course, especially the chest speed up one, 
you need to play a, a bit more. I mean, even if, even if you don't play enough to fully maximize it, it's still gonna make you're still gonna get enough value out of it, and it's gonna make it easier for you because when you wake up or when you get on the game, you're always gonna have a chest slot open at least. Do you have the boost bot right now, Dewey? The what? Do you have the boost bot right now by chance? No. Can you click on the crown chest and see, I want to see if the crown chest is, that I'm so showing is double or what it originally is. Can you can you click on crown chest and tell me what it says that you get? Cause click on it in the store. No um, no 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 like uh, you know on your profile. Oh I I, I I I can't see what it will give me. If you click on it, it'll pop up. If you like you're like next to quest, just click on the crown chest. No, it doesn't do anything for me. No. Well, I'm gonna assume that it just, says, it just says crown chest available once every 24 hours. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna assume that mine is doubled because uh, everything else is showing that way. So uh, a medium, medium in the gold here is uh, 1,200 gold plus 164 cards. So we got 16 rares, which is 50 gold a rare. So that's 800 plus a thousand gold for the one epic. Um, so you got um, what's that? So that's it's 18 10, 10 per common as well 10 per common five five per common so it's 750 plus 800 plus a thousand plus uh 1200 average gold for the chest itself so that's 3750 now assuming that's doubled with the boost divided by two is 1875 so 1875 if we go down to the gold here uh you get 10,000 gold for 500 gems so it's about a hundred, hundred and ten. So gems. if you get five crown chests, you pretty much break even. Anything more? Um, so that's not the the best of all the boosts because five crown chests, you know, it's only seven days. But you know, a lot of us sometimes have it stacked up. So five crown chests to break even. Uh, but if you get your crown chest every day, definitely, definitely worth it. Wow, I can do math. I learned something new about myself today, do I? I bet you didn't even know that about me. Yeah, I think these are all really good. See, see you know we, we, you know he's known me for a long time when he if just ignores the dumb stuff I say and just goes right back to the topic. Almost, if, yeah, if, if you're a person who plays Clash Royale every single day or almost every single day, or even if you just you know pick it up for like the weekends or whatever, I think all three of these boosts are pretty worth it. Um, if you were to like, let's say they had this available all the time, or maybe, maybe what they do is have like a special offer to where like if you buy an entire month worth of boost, you get it at like, uh, like thirty three percent off. It only costs like <laughs> it's value now. Listen, you can boost a gem mine anytime you want in Clash uh, Clans. You can boost an elixir collector. You can boost a barracks. I think this should be permanent. I think this is a great addition, um, and I think we'll get people playing more. I really yeah, do. I think what they're doing right now is they're testing the waters with it. And then when they figure out like how many people are actually going to do it, I mean, it, it, it's there's no negative to it really. I think what they're doing right now is that you know because initially when you release a feature, you don't want to be like boom here it is it's in the game permanently. You want people to you know feel like it's special. You want to see how many people are going to buy it. But I definitely think in 2018 we could see boosts uh, become 100% permanent. And I and, think a and, lot and plus of let's be real, Supercell's a business, um, you know. And I say this respectfully, if they, you know, during the weeks they have these boosts out, are they catching extra, <coughs> excuse me, income from like somebody who'd spend like maybe five dollars? Okay, I'll buy these boosts. Uh, or are they are they losing uh, bigger purchases in the shop? You know, are they losing money on bigger purchases, or are they just well, are they the gaining think, more value? It's something and, that only think, they're not going to tell us, but I feel like it's going to be part of the yeah, decision. Yeah, I, I think like boosts and special offers and all this stuff is yes, definitely taking away from like a person like me who back in the day would buy super magical chests and giant chests. Now you know, have <coughs> challenges and there's special offers, so you're never going to buy chests or gold or gems from the store again. The only people who buy chests, are, I mean, uh, you know, gems or gold, are people who are uninformed. You know new to the game or they, they they don't care about doing challenges or anything they just want to have a max level account and a lot of disposable so, income i think even if the store is less used than it used to be 
it's good that it's in the game because it what it is now is you use it as a reference so whenever a special offer or something comes out we always compare it to the store and it always seems like a good value when you compare it to the store of course because the store is not really good value so even though less people are buying stuff from the store more people are buying the boosts and all that stuff and the special offers that I think it will actually make them more money. And I agree with you. Like, <clears throat> for me personally, I wouldn't buy chess from the shop ever. It's like when something's like... on sale. If something's on sale <laughs> in a store, you're more likely to buy it, buy more of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I don't, I don't need this, but since it's on sale, I'm going to buy it. Right. Like, Supercell would have never got my one-time... Uh, arena offer money um in the form of me buying chess from the shop ever that like so all the one-time arena offer money you know whatever it added up to say 150 bucks total they would have never got from me um because then i i wouldn't have buy chess from the shop straight up i think it's too expensive yeah a lot of people these boosts, don't buy chests or gold or gems from the shop these boost uh, gems they would have never got from me so i think i i think from from my perspective your your perspective it is all extra income for supercell but I can understand them wanting to test the waters first, because, you know, yep, they're... Yep. I'm going to buy all three business. right now, probably, on these boosts. There we go. Hey, if you think about it, Supercell, like... shoot me up a little uh, royalty check, please, if you don't mind. I already got one more person to, to buy some gems. If, if you were to have, like, <laughs> let's say you had these boosts available all month with no discount. I would have them bought all the time. That. Yeah, so it would be 9 bucks. So, like I was saying, for a month, it would be around 36 bucks for an entire month. It would be $36 so... for a month? Yeah. For, for all three. Oh. Because it's nine bucks for all three for a week times four. Yeah, but 3,600. So 3,600 uh, uh, gems, but you get 14,000 gems for $100. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you buy more gems, then yes. Well, anybody who would buy it for all a month would be buying gems in bulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at it at a uh, like a pouch of gems. 500 yeah, gems don't. For five I, I don't think yes. that could apply to. So okay, okay. We'll look at it the we'll look at it the other way. So it's if it's 900 gems times three says 3,600 gems. So if you're planning on doing that, you're probably gonna go and buy like hundred gems. Let's say the fifty dollar pack or something. So if you go and buy the fifty dollar pack, that would let you do almost two months worth of boosts. Almost two whole months worth of boosts for fifty bucks, or four if months of boosts. Other way, of course, it would be over six. Four months so of boost for a hundred. Look at it like that. That's still less than a console game or a computer but game. Dude, four months of boost for a hundred dollars with the max pack. So that that's that's uh, twenty five dollars a month. Twenty five dollars a month. Twenty five dollars a month. So that's honestly uh, pretty good if, if you're playing Clash Royale every single day. That's good value if you it to um especially since you know we played warcraft for a long time that was a monthly subscription other games and, stuff and they're like not that. forcing yeah it. it all comes down to do you like the game how much do you play the game and if you're if you're willing to spend some money on the game just do it smartly because and like you see the, the chest value the double chest value isn't is out of all of them the least value um so you could easily like just cut that out and do 600 yeah, yeah. The vic the victory uh, the victory gold is probably the best value out of them. If you are not cycling through chests and you're just playing a bunch of matches a day, if you're able to hit that twenty a day, that'd be awesome. The victory gold one is tremendous value. If you are a person who is able to fill up their chest slots or even uh, opens up their silvers with gems, the chest speed up boost is great value. Because Twelve and a half chests cost to break even. That's it. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna cut all of your gems cost to open in half, which means you'd be able to cycle through those silvers extremely fast. Then you'd be able to let your golds open if you wanted to in like four hours, and then again, just blow through your silvers, and you would get around to your magical giant or super magical probably once a day. You'd probably be seeing a magical, a giant, or a super magical, like And, and once a day. <coughs> I'm sure this happens to everybody. It's like super exciting, right? If you have a, say you got a, a legendary epic back to back or a super magical, and then like, you say you keep your smaller chest opening, play keep smaller, and you get a, you know, you're all of a sudden backed up with a, a 24 hour chest, a 12 hour chest, maybe two 24 hour chests. And as exciting as that is, you're like, woo, you know, I'm getting these big cards out of this chest. It's kind of 
offset slightly by the fact that you know that you're not gonna be able to get any new chests. So like playing is almost, you know, if you're playing ladder, it's almost kind of pointless for. Yeah. So it'll take like a week to open those chests. If that boost was there all the time, uh, chests. you could just use it as an unclogger, you know. <laughs> And I think that would make chess more exciting, too. I think what would be really, really cool is if they had chess slots. If the four if the four chess slots were just for silver chests. And then what they had below. Okay, so you know how you see your four chess slots? Right below or right above, they you would have four more chess slots. And they'd be, like, smaller or maybe, like, a little icon or something. And it would show your stored chests. And you would have one for a gold chest, one for a magical, a giant, or a super magical. So you could you could store. <coughs> I like that. Up to, you could store up to one of each of those. I like that. But you know what I would like better, Dewey? Build like Clash of Clans. You can buy builders, um, and you can build more than one thing. And you can have the five builders. Take your concept. Just have twenty chest slots, and you know, be able to buy, quote unquote, five. Key makers, I don't know, and be able to, you know, if you bought one, you, you then you could open up two chests at one time, etc. You know, and as as far fetched as that might seem, like people are like, oh, Cla Clash Royale or, or uh, Clash Royale never do that. Well, this so boost is the same the concept. That have be able to open up two chests at the same time. Possibly up to five with a with a storage of twenty chests, just like builders in Clash of Clans. I think that may be pretty crazy because... Well, think about it, though. If they keep the... You didn't think it was crazy to keep these boosts going uh, all month, right? If you think about it conceptually, it's opening up chests faster, getting you gold faster, and you're paying super so money. Conceptually, it's not that far off. And, you know... Yeah, but I think having, having a giant list of like 20 chests you save up is or even if it's uh, just 10 or or same now but you can buy a second builder just nice. to open all, up two all, all i was saying is have a special slot for each type of chest so that you can have those so that getting a super magic because when you get a super magical for most people they're not going to open it right away oh so you can save it save. for like when you're on vacation or like when you won't be able to play yeah, for a yeah, while yeah. so so it's not going to hinder your ability to cycle through like silvers and stuff that's what i'm that's what i'm saying like have the super you. magical magical giant and maybe maybe not gold maybe keep gold with the silvers have the silvers and golds on one row and then have the other legendary oh i forgot about legendary have legendary epic super magical and magical and all those on a separate row that you can keep to open up when you're not playing for a while and then have the top row just to cycle through silvers and gold that's a good idea although um Maybe maybe sucks, a mid compromise. I, like I see, I see have a lot of people who have like a they have like a super magical magical giant. It's like taking up all their slots. Yeah, and they can't cycle through silver. What if we compromise on our two ideas? What if you could um, open up one chest at a time from your mag your twelve hour or longer chest uh, you know containment spots, but it took um, seven times as long. So you still have your regular chest opening, right? Say you have a, a day chest in there, like a ledgy chest. You could have it open in your uh, big, quote unquote, you know, big chest storage, and it would take seven days. So, like, what you know, about every week you just get the ability. It's on. It's on a weekly cooldown. You get the ability to instantly open any chest. So every so each week you'd be like, oh, okay, this week I got a giant chest or magical or super magical. Boom, open. Oh, fr Next from the week, special chest list. Like from the exact like yeah, so you get like a magical key every week, and you can't save them up, and you can't like hold on to it. You have to; it's on a cooldown, so you need to use it once a Let week. Let me add to that just... magical key. That made me think of this. What about for like quest rewards? You know, how you get like big chests for quest rewards. What if you got a magical key instead, and you can actually hold on to these keys like in your inventory? Um, super magical key whatever, from completing quests, uh, obviously, you know, they'd take, you know, a while to earn, but it'd be simple to add a little, another quest currency, and then you could then choose to use that if you open up, if you have a, a matching chest. So say you got a magical, a super magical key, next time you get a super magical, you could use that key to open it, or save that key for another time. What if it was like, you know, rewarded with the quests? 
or, or or in clan wars or something like that does that make sense yeah i mean they could do something like that they could um so I, I just like took your idea and ran with it because I like they could they could have different ways of earning keys like do a certain amount of quests in a week and you have a chance of getting a key donating a certain amount of cards a week you have a chance of getting a key what, what Warcraft playing style certain, like you're guaranteed a, a key of, maybe a silver key but you have a better a certain, chance of getting a, certain, a bigger key a cer playing a certain amount of ladder matches a week you're, you know um, have a chance of getting a key. So what you could do is you could do each of these different areas. You could work on these throughout the week. And then at the end of the week, you would have like three or four different chances of getting key drops. And if you're lucky or unlucky, you know, you get different amounts of keys and then you would use those. Yes. And I think there should be like a base level, like a silver key. You always get a silver key. But so that would give that would give people like. Just like Warcraft yeah, like uh, challenge modes, right? 100% higher chance ladder. To get a silver key, you are. And then you'd have like a 50% a, a chance to get a gold key, 30% chance of getting a magical, you know, something like that. 100% chance, chance to remember the name. Yeah, 20% chance of getting a super magical, and then maybe like a 10% chance to get like, you know, the uh, legendary or whatever. Yo, but, I'm sorry. I just looked at this um, video time. We were at 36 minutes. We talked longer on the, the shot than we did on update features. Man, <laughs> All right, so, yeah. <coughs> we really got into really this long, really long shop special. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I call it—the long shop special. Oh man! So just to summarize things, arena offers really good. Save your money up, get those. If they're you know five times, six times, seven times, eight times value, get those. They're amazing. Um, the other offers in the store, watch out for those. Some of those are good. Some of those are not so good. Just make a judgment call. Um, you can always do math and just compare it to what it would normally cost in the well, shop. Well, not so good offers don't, don't, uh, from what I remember, do not claim like, you know, times five value. We don't, they don't yeah, just, they usually don't so like you how the touchdown ones that were good that just came out, they said, you know, times two, times three, times four, you know, the ones that just say, oh, extra chance to get this if there's not a times value. Yeah, I don't like the ones that get like, they want to give you a chance at a certain Same. card or shop guarantee or beware. a certain card. <laughs> uh, and the boosts, the boosts, uh, they're really, really good. Just get whatever ones apply to your play style. So if, you know, if you, the the gold and the crown chests, if you can afford getting both of those, I would, I would go with the 600 gems to get those because you play a handful of games a day, get your crown chest, get your gold, super good value. And let me know in the if comment section below what you guys think, but if, from, from our conversation and the math we did on the fly, the, the, if you're, you know, have to be thrifty with your gems, Number one, uh, one to get is the 300 uh, extra victory gold. The second best one to get is the chest opening um, uh, time and half. And the third best one uh, to get what is the is the crown chest double value. So if you had to pick and this does become a permanent thing or you're slow on gems, definitely go for the 20 victory gold. Or the 20 times 300 uh, victory gold. Is that... Does that, does that make sense? Does that check out? Yep. Yeah, let us know what you think. But yeah, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. Um, uh, Dewey, again, guys, check him out on Twitch. His uh, social media and his Twitch information will be below. He's an awesome streamer. Streams Clash Royale, um, Crying Baby Zombie Angel, and Binding of Isaac, Star, Star Wars. You know, he, he streams the Gambit. He's a wonderful streamer. Uh, mentor of mine and uh, an all-around great guys information is in, in the section below um, if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and Dewey I'll leave you with the last words all right thanks again for having me uh, good luck clash on hopefully the December update is awesome and uh, hopefully I see you guys around on Twitch sometime it'd be awesome to uh, talk to you guys and play with you guys and uh, do some awesome tournaments uh, have a good December, a good holiday, and uh, take it easy. Peace, guys. Much love.